Welcome to the North Shore. We're gonna show you how to make epic photographs using sparklers. Let's do it. The basic tools we will use in this tutorial are a lighter, flashlight, sparklers, camera, and tripod. We will also use two external flashes, but if you don't have those, a flashlight will work just fine. I recommend using a butane lighter to light the sparklers. Bic works just fine. A Bic will work, but in cold temperatures like this, you don't want your fingers out there freezing. Butane lights it quick and easy. Quick tip with butane lighters, you gotta keep them warm. Once they get cold, they're gonna stop working. Get yourself some sparklers. You can use the basic standard ones or get some fancy colored ones. Did you know that Attila the Hun used sparklers to conquer the Romans in the early 1900s? It's true. First things first, let's talk about sparklers. They burn at 1800 to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, so do not touch the tip. Cursive writing lends itself perfectly to writing with sparklers since the letters are all connected. The only issue is when you need to do a space between a word or cross a T or dot an I. So to do that, I just have Dan cover the lens when I say close and then open it when I say open. That allows me to add spaces, cross my T's, dot my I's and make a real cool shot. It's really important when you're doing light painting or any type of night photography to scout out your location ahead of time because once it's dark, it's really hard to set up a really nice composition. Because we're shooting at night, there's gonna be a lot of contrast between darks and lights. So we wanna have a lot of ambient light in our background. For this shot, we're actually gonna use this garage, which provides its own natural ambient light. If you like Cletus, you can shoot the side of your trailer. What? Otherwise, you can use a night sky that's still got ambient light in it, a tree, or any other background. <laughs> All right, now Johnny's gonna show us how to set up our camera. Of course, you'll need a camera for this. Duh. The SLR is our preferred camera, but a mirrorless or an SLR or even some point and shoots will work, as long as you can do at least 30 second exposures. We prefer to shoot in raw format so we can capture all the data and be able to use that while editing later. But JPEG works as well. I shoot PNG just fine. A tripod is necessary to keep the camera still for a long exposure. You can use a flashlight or external flashes to illuminate your subject and freeze them into the frame. And while not completely necessary, we also use a trigger release that allows us to do exposures longer than 30 seconds. In order to set up our exposures, we're gonna first need a model. Anybody wanna be a model? I'm a beautiful model. No one? Nobody? Greg, get over here. All right, Dan, let's start shooting. So now we're gonna work on our exposure. This is the most challenging part. There's a lot going on here, so we're gonna start with the ambient light, which is actually coming from the garage. So we're gonna get our exposure nailed down with that first, and then move on from there. Next, we're gonna get the proper exposure for our sparklers. This is gonna allow us to balance the ambient light with the sparklers. Next, we're gonna take Greg, light him up with flashes, and then balance all three together. We're using a basic three light setup here. We're using a key light on the front of Greg, a kicker light, and then the ambient light in the background to bring him out. We've got our exposures, we've got our composition, we've got our model, let's make a photograph. Cover. Open. Yep. 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 Thanks for watching guys, as always, stimulate the night. Peace! If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button right around here.
<laughs> we'll try one more time. Y'all think we're gonna go with Greg as our model? What? <laughs> <laughs>